uh, you delegated, you followed us. I would like to appreciate that team. Honorable Aisha, physically present, in Paida. Secretary Mobilization in charge of Northern Uganda, Habib Asega, just buried two of his nephews in an accident, left the daughter in hospital and has been with us. That is the that that is one thing we shall be teaching. We are not going to start Googling case studies about Napoleon. What our case studies of resilience are here. And we also rightfully said we have the experts. It's going to be facilitated. It's not teaching, it's facilitation. I am very honored to be part of this learning process. Because uh, Franklin one time said, tell me I forget, teach me I remember, involve me and I will learn and put it in practice. Because change is the end result of all the learning. I see it here. The birth of that process. Allow me to thank in a special way that chain of involvement. Dr. Seru Kenya was on his way to join us on, on Saturday. Please, can you stand up? From Asaka. But midway, one of my own, my son, my second born actually right now is in ICU, grasping for his life. And uh, we were there with the Honorable Aisha. Uh, I, when I said, please, Mother Mary take charge. Immediately, chairman, um, uh, they all coordinated, the foot soldiers, doctor left going to Paida and took charge of ensuring that uh, Aaron is transferred effectively and safely to Mulago. He's still battling for his life and doctor has been there effectively, effectively 24-7 with us, our doctor Ali. And that's why I have this courage. Because people wonder about what is mama up to? Onwali Buchi. Onwali Kustroku. Kubanga. Ono is multiplied. You take it off. I have multiplied myself by being committed and immersed in this process. So things worked miraculously. and I want to appreciate each one of you. But today is not about me. Today is about our leadership academy. The one and only. North of Limpopo, south of Sahara. Yes. So, um, and with my own member of parliament uh, for Chad Dondo here present, I would like to recognize the presence of those who have come all the way from Karamoja. Please. That level of commitment. Ayen. Ayen is the chairperson of Abim District. Yes, Ayen is there and he's present. I saw Adonio present. Yes. I see Asega. Those who have come from northern Uganda. We say when your house is being put to order or when it is on fire, you don't need an invitation. You take part in it. And those are the signs. We want to congratulate the coordinator, the current person who has enabled us to sit here. I am very humbled. I would like to invite, uh, just for recognition, Doreen Kaija. Doreen. Are you still coordinating somewhere? Today is your day. Yes. She came to receive me personally and said, please. So this lady here is the coordinator of this academy, this school. Because we are growing, we are yet to get the other, the, the principles, they may not be principles, but the different titles. But of course, you, are, you, you work hard and you see how you can retain that. You are doing it very effectively. Coordinator, coordinator. Don't come and start saying she presented the administrators. So no, coordinator. <laughs> Yeah, so Your Excellency and uh, the leadership and the media fraternity that is always here with us, 
with a lot of honor, with a lot of pride, with a lot of confidence, because this is a very mega, major, triple, triple milestone. Kiri za wabagana, tu tambula, tu simbu, tu simbu dendara kakati, sabo kutuare chisecho, okuwa nyiriza. I'm not pleased to accept my apologies. Uh, there is a group of people very important that I didn't uh, welcome. Uh, please allow me ask them to stand. Then you invite our president. Neck members, all neck members who are here, kindly stand. You, you know, sometimes we forget to mention them because some of the neck members are also MPs, are also other leaders. So at times we mix it up. Uh, but I want to appreciate neck members. Aha, uh -huh. the is Jesus. So you see, eh, the president is actually the chairperson of NEC. <laughs> so that's why sometimes it appears like we have not taken note of you, but we do appreciate all our NEC members. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. You also remind me, you know, gratitude, even the Lord demands it. We are grateful. I am very, very grateful for all, to all of you who have been supporting, calling those in diaspora, those who are with us here, those who have contributed, whether for the X-ray, or whatever, I want to appreciate in a special way Aunt Dorothy who has been with us and the team uh, coordinating and some of them who respectfully declined their names to be mentioned and of course uh, Chairman Nyanzi can I say the LM word but uh, not here you linked uh, to the to the right person you, 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 you just put the right dot I believe that's why he's still alive. I want to say, Awali Fo, Ambo. Awali Fo, Awali Fo. And join me in welcoming also uh, Honorable Flavia. She gave us a, a, a new plate. <laughs> yes, Dr. Sen Kenya. Yes, I thanked him already in a very special way. And you, all of you, all of you, each one of you. And please, we call upon all of you to put us in prayers because with prayers, everything is possible. The de facto and the de jure president of the Republic of Uganda. The different clans want to own you. The different institutions want to own you. Here I present to speak to us the independent, the most learned, the most inspirational, the one and only, Obini. Obini, Obini, Ngobi, Musinguzi, His Excellency Robert Chai Chak Chagula Nisen Tamu Hadi Swaibu.